Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Becoming the 1% Podcast. My guest today is Rudy Hernandez. He is the owner of Iron Gang Nutrition. He is also one of the owners of self-made training facility Gilbert, the newest location in the self-made training facility family. So excited to have him on. Enjoy the episode. What's up, Rudy? How you doing, man? Howdy. Welcome. Good. Good to have you on. Good day. Yeah. To, your, to your earlier question before we went live, it's actually kind of cool. When you when you do a podcast, there are two different formats, ways of editing. You can do it post or you can do it during. If you use what we have, which is a Blackmagic soundboard, that's the thing he has in front of him. Okay. He can actually switch between each one of these cameras oh, okay. just manually right there. Oh, that so cool. that's, that's the better way. That's like the more efficient, like the JRE, those kinds of f- formats. We usually have live interactions and live transitions. And that way you don't have to do as much editing on the post side. Okay. But for our episode, we just kind of roll through it, man. Yeah, right on. How's everything, uh, how's everything going with you? Good, man. Can't complain. Life's great. Uh, just keep on maintaining those goals. I'm all about raising my bar weekly yeah. and got a notepad weekly. I write my, my uh, goals for the week in there, what I got to get done, what I want to do and cross it out as I go and just keep climbing. You got an exciting time happening for you. You just got the new facility going. Is this? Yes, sir. Congrats. congrats. Yeah, congrats, congrats thank man. You. Seriously. Appreciate so it's a it. brand new facility, self-made training facility, Gilbert location. What have you done prior to this? This Is this the first facility that you have owned yes. and opened? Okay. Yes. So, so tell us what, what pre, what came before that? So before this, uh, they started a supplement company called Iron Gang Nutrition in 2018. Mm. Uh, kind of just decided, I guess, I need to do something new and change my life. Like I said earlier, uh, fitness has saved my life. That's it? Iron yes, Gang. sir. Oh, very cool. So came up with this concept with two of my buddies. Uh, actually, it was four of us at the time. Uh, and uh, just ran with it, man. Uh, drew up a logo on the iPad real quick. And yeah. uh, I got an idea. We just sat around a table, went out to dinner real quick, and just started... Um, I guess getting ideas from each other, Mm -hmm. you know, and putting it all together and looked up what we need to do next. Started with the LLC, looked up manufacturers, looked, looked at, uh, what we wanted to do and where we wanted to go, you know, and kind of just experimentation and learning as we go. Which kinds of supplements I see pre-workout. Is that, is that what you specialize in is the pre-workout? Yeah. So we started with the pre-workout. Originally, okay. uh, we just had the one pre-workout, and then after that, we expanded. We did BCAs, we have protein, uh, we have fat burners, NO2, basically everything. So now you got kind of a start to yeah. finish. We had a CBD. Uh, now we have two. Di- we have four different pre-workouts, but right now we're only having the two. Sick. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love the logo, the look, and the feel. It's definitely unique. Yeah, yeah. Thank I you. I can I can see how the transition was seamless from this to self made. <laughs> yeah, 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 were, yeah. were you somehow affiliated with self made when you were doing supplements? No. So when we started Iron Gang, uh, it was basically I just like life changing man. I got into fitness big time uh-huh. and just trying to think of ideas. What can I do to do better? Or what is something I like to do that? You know, maybe I can make a career out of or become an entrepreneur and start my own thing where I don't have to work for uh, a big company or a business, work for myself. Mm -hmm. Totally. So I started that and with self-made came in play with just uh, networking and meeting people. Uh, I got invited to the gym one day. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, by which location? Uh, Where uh, was the it? Phoenix location? Okay, because there's only how many are there in Arizona now? Uh, three, three. Currently, right now, two though. Gilbert two, and yeah. Phoenix. Uh, Gilbert and Scottsdale. Gilbert and Scottsdale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, got invited by Chris. He was a trainer there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, man, I'm trying to remember where I met him at. Chris, is he the guy I see uh, running the podcast? Kind of the is he the um? What's his what's his IG? What's his handle? Uh. I can't remember. I would have to look it up on my phone real quick. I'm thinking of of uh, there, there's a gentleman that does your podcast. That, I'm talking about that oh, uh, oh. self-made. Yeah, Riley. 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 That's no, no, no. Okay, so yeah. So Riley is in charge of our marketing and Got it. see videography and all that and content for all for, self-made yeah, for facilities. Self-made. Okay. Yeah. So cool. self-made it is, it is a franchise. Okay. And is we're all across the United States now. Uh, How many locations? Off the top of my head, I don't remember, but we got a. Uh, New York, Virginia, Florida, Ohio, uh, Colorado's coming up. We have Arizona. Yeah. All over. Uh, Texas. Actually, uh, Justin's out in, uh, Mark's out in, sorry. Mark is out in Texas now. Mm -hmm. And he took over the Dallas location. So they're actually having their grand opening this weekend on Saturday. Nice. And then all the rest of them are all in California. So, all right. So you're you're involved in supplements. You get involved with self-made. Do you... 
reach out to Self Made and say, "Hey, I think there'd be a great opportunity out in Gilbert in the East Valley," or did they reach out to you? Yeah, it, and it's kind of funny how it happened. So the uh, like I said, I got invited by Chris. Uh, he was a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can't remember how I met him, but he invited me to the gym. I came. He was like, "Hey, I'll give you some free sessions," mm-hmm. you know. And I've only been lifting for like two, maybe three years by then. Okay. So uh, went checked out the gym. Gym was awesome this was in phoenix yeah. at the time still loved yeah. it uh-huh. loved everything about it loved the culture uh-huh i uh, loved the owners loved all the trainers the, the culture is a big thing we got to talk about yeah, that yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. uh but yeah did a couple training sessions with chris uh after that me and him became cool friends and mm-hmm. started meeting more trainers that work there and have you been a trainer yeah. yourself uh no sir. PT? okay no, sir. Been, okay uh i mean yeah. i have helped people with powerlifting mm-hmm. but i don't consider myself as a oh, i'm a trainer Fair. I'm a coach, yeah you know uh, I got into this thing just because my passion for it mm-hmm. and, uh, was self-made. It's all about family and helping people, you know, and yeah. that's what I, that's what I like doing. Cause, uh, one thing about me is I had a hard time growing up. Yeah. Rough life, okay. rough life. And like I said, fitness saved my life. And I know if I can do it, anyone else out there can do it. So I'm like, you know, I'm on get into this and try and inspire people, motivate mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. help people like uh, if you see a lot of my posts, I always tell everyone, hey, reach out to me, you know, mm-hmm. for whatever. I'm here, you know. And, oh, yeah. And we keep our word for it, and we help people out a lot. It's a big part of it is sort of passing on the knowledge that we get as, a, as yeah, we yeah. go along. And uh, it's you're not the first person that fitness saves their life. And really, in a literal way or in a figurative yeah. way, getting into this can change the way that you – you see everything about yourself and your future, oh, whatever yeah, your trajectory sure. was can be changed through this. It's why I love this industry is it really does help people. It's something that is, I think a little unique to fitness it, different than a lot of other places. You can, you can make a career in just about anything, but you know, are you, are you really helping people? This is one of those areas where you certainly can. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Changing lives, positivity. Yeah. And, and it seems like, you know, looking at self-made um, it's more than just a gym. You know, it looks, when I look at it, when I look at your social media presence, it's a community. Um, it's a network of coaches. Um, can you talk a little bit about that, mm-hmm. about, you know, what you envision uh, for self-made and, and how it is more than a gym or. Yeah. Yeah. So self-made is big. What I loved about it was a culture, like the family aspect. Uh, I guess you call it like gym family. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we all look out for each other. And the one thing about me, Damien and Anthony, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but I want to say, like, we're real. We're, we're, we are real dudes, mm-hmm. just like everybody else, you know, but everybody is real, you know. But, like, I go out of my way. I say hi to all the clients, all the trainers. I say goodbye every time, you know. It's all about uh, I try and re- uh, I'll, I'll be honest with everybody. I'm really bad with names. So when I first <laughs> meet people, it Guilty. is challenging. Guilty. So that is something that I do work on, you know, and. Yeah, I forced myself, you know what, I need to learn everyone's name, you know. Uh, that's one thing I do throughout the day, but at the gym, you know, especially like if you're a trainer mm-hmm. and you're training, you're training your clients in the gym and the clients, you know, they come to the gym, they see the the cool looking gym, it looks nice, mm-hmm. it's beautiful, you know, and they're training, trying to get their goals. But then you have the owners come up and, hey, how you doing? How you doing today, Joe? You know, and, mm-hmm. oh, you know my name? And they appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they see it. You ask them, hey, how's your day going? How's work? You know? What did you get? And a lot of them, they get excited, you know, tell them, hey, you know, this week I dropped 10 pounds or five pounds or, hey, I hit a new PR today. Um, all the coaches were real family oriented and it's all about taking care of each other and helping, like, I guess, like you said, uh, learning. One thing about me, I love learning new things. Mm-hmm. So I, I read a lot of books. Uh, I always pick people's brain. Like if I see someone doing something new in the gym, I'll, I'll wait till they're done. Hey. Can I ask you something? Why were you doing that? Like, I'm just curious, uh, you know, and they explain, I add it to my thing now, you know, and just try and educate and help and teach. Uh, one thing we like to say is iron sharp, iron sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're all about at self made is culture, family, uh, motivating, uh, educating, helping people become better. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And personal learning. training. That's actually personal. That's outstanding. Yeah. What has, the impact in your opinion because you mentioned the way that self-made looks and that's that's a big thing that draws people in especially oh, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I resonate with that i see i see what that does how has that shaped the perception of the gym it, people go into self-made they see something very different than a lot of other gyms really any other gym that i've ever mm-hmm. seen does that is that strictly for branding is there 
another reason that it's i'm talking about the graffiti the red and black it's a very it's it's like intense but it's almost like everything is a selfie wall yeah, yeah, yeah. how how does that how does that make its way into the trainer's day-to-day i say uh i'm trying to think like one thing that we go by the big you mentioned the graffiti mm-hmm. uh every self-made has it across uh going to top the gym yeah across the whole walls where champions are self-made yes so that is something we take pride in uh we consider a we're all champions we're all here to do better we're all here to give it a hundred percent and more mm-hmm. to become the champion in our own self uh but yeah the i want to say more for branding and to stick out as self-made yeah as a nation you know uh-huh. eventually we want to be a nation not i don't want to say like a, a commercial gym like that because mm-hmm. we are a private facility and i want to say we're on our own level when you yeah. say no. private facility what is what does that mean exactly how is that different than a commercial gym so uh pri- we're a private facility we're open 24 7 mm-hmm. uh like this structure to cater towards independent contractors of mm. personal trainers so if you're a trainer and you have a lot of clientele you go to a regular gym around three o'clock it's packed you know, it's so it's work only with trainers with clients at Self Made. Yes, it, there yes. is no open membership for just uh, people. No, we do. We are starting something new though. Mm-hmm. We can talk about that a little later. Yeah, but, uh, we are doing an exclusive pass. Uh, I don't want to say memberships, but for basically like professional athletes that mm-hmm. want a personal training facility to where you know it's private. Mm-hmm. You go yeah. there and you train. Got it. Go Very there cool. and train, become yeah. better. Outstanding. Yeah, but with our gym, uh, even during the the busy peak hours, I want to say from three to seven o'clock, our our facility. I don't like using the word gym, mm-hmm. <laughs> but our facility, uh, it's there's there's room. Yeah. You know, you're never gonna go in there and be like, oh, we got it. We're hitting chest today, but so are the other five people. Yeah, five other trainers. You know, like there's room. There's multiple different machines. We have a state of the art equipment. We have a bunch of equipment. That yeah, you do. A lot of other facilities don't have a lot of uh. So with the equipment that we get, it's exclusively for self-made, and only police departments and fire departments are the only places that Very can cool. get wow. our equipment. So and, and everyone training is supervised by an instructor. Yes. When it happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that right there is certainly very unique to self-made. Because yeah. you're right. That's not a. It's not an open membership. Yeah. I hate that word too. It's not an open membership facility. Yeah. Well, I like to call it like a uh, institution of education. You know, we're mm. here to help you. Uh, Either build your business more and become the entrepreneur you want, or mm-hmm. whether you just want to be a trainer and learn how to become an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. we have all the resources to teach you and help you and grow your business. We that's, have a yeah. lot of resources with Self Made. So, so that's one big thing that comes with being a trainer for us. That's cool. So it's not just, hey, come in and you know, you can be a ten ninety nine independent contractor where you use our facility. We're actually training you up to become a better personal trainer, yes. a better coach. I yes. like that. I like that a lot. In what ways specifically? If I'm so, a trainer and let's say I'm in my fourth year, I've got some knowledge, but probably not that much. So we have a, uh, uh, you guys know what trainerizes, is, right? Mm-hmm. Of course. You're a trainer. So sure. we have our own thing like that. We basically call it self-made academy. Mm-hmm. So every, I want to say like every month we have new training videos on marketing, how to get more uh, clientele. Mm-hmm. Uh we have a uh, a program through uh, ISSA, so if you want to get more certifications, we have a program through them. Uh, oh, yeah. Basically, Self Made Academy, anything you need to learn about marketing, building business, or even just learning to be a better personal trainer in general. Uh, mm-hmm. We have that. We have a mobile app now. Do, do you do you lead this this course this this curriculum teaching trainers? Do you have a teacher that teaches, or is is it something you do? No, so it is all based uh, computer based through mm. self-made academy we d- used to have a education like a head education of self-made academy oh okay so this is something each trainer would do on their own yes, it's not yes. like a come to like a seminar type thing. yeah so it's- we used to have that where we had seminars where uh the main dude would go from state to state and we would hold mm. seminars and okay hey if you guys are interested come and he'll educate you on whatever the topic might yeah be. but so so yeah say you are a trainer i would assign you to all the classes mm-hmm. and if you needed help i'll come help you and then if you're willing to learn more like there we have all kinds of different classes yeah wow on everything we so should we should co-host, we, we should co-host a marketing seminar oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah that would sure. be yeah that would be really beneficial i think that's a big missing piece yeah the last a lot of i think the last one we had was in january we mm-hmm. had it at the scottsdale location where mark actually came 
and all, all the personal trainers who we post and let them know, hey, we're going to have a seminar. If you guys want to learn more about how to build your business mm -hmm. and make more money, well, Mark's going to be here this day and come through. And, and I'm sorry, Mark is... So Mark is uh, actually took over the Dallas location, but he used to be the head of Self Made Academy. Okay. Tablet, oh yeah, but, yeah. I, no, it's it's. I get it. It's a habit, and you're not the only one to do it. <laughs> okay, I so <laughs> I did that. So you yeah. said that. <laughs> I think, um, I think in general, that's like the shortfall of a lot of conventional PT certifications, personal training certifications. It's like ISSA, NASA, ACE. When it comes to marketing, sales, advertising, all of those things that are very important for someone to understand, especially 1099 independent contractors who are getting their own clients, creating their own leads. How do I do all of those things? You know, and, and the book on that is very thin. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you guys can really empower people to do that, especially new trainers, new coaches, how do I do this? How do I set it up? And beyond that, how do I create an online presence? How do I use the facility and leverage mm -hmm. what we have here in the facility to do that? I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we have a content a content creator. So if you need help with your content. He mentioned that. You have a full-time content creator yep. at the facility, dude. Yep, yep. He's on site to help everybody. I, I want I wanted to ask a question about that because it is the the perception oftentimes of self made not yes. just yours of all's yes. is that this is the take a selfie gym this yes. is the place for the content creators to go how do you see that because there is a negative perception of that and a mm -hmm. positive perception of that positive being I'm helping my business building my brand so on and so forth negative being okay I'm I'm in here to pull my ass out in front of the mirror take a picture not necessarily here yeah. to train. How do you see that in your actual, because you see that, yeah. you probably see both. What would you say to like, Hey, I mean, what's your advice on that topic? I say it, it helps with the trainers, you know, build up their businesses. Mm -hmm. It really does help. Uh, whether you're educating or whether you're just making more content, mm -hmm. but also I do see, you know, you get people that, you know, everyone is proud in their progress and they do take uh mm -hmm. selfies in the gym and oh look i'm at self-made you know yeah this is this is a spot to be which is cool too you know and, yeah uh th we do have a lot of i guess uh influ influencers and athletes that do contact us all the time like yeah hey man i love your gym is there any way i can come in and film some footage which is fine so i'm all for it you know it gives self-made more branding and oh, more yeah. marketing oh yeah for free uh with other people voluntarily doing it you know so, uh, I got uh, some guys from Iron Wild. They use our gym. I don't know if you guys heard of mm -hmm. that brand. I have, yes. Out of here. They use our gym a lot. And uh, so far, just Iron Wild has came through. I have a... Uh, well, you've only been open. How long has your facility... So, two months now. Two months now. Yeah. yeah. About months. a month and a half, I say, two months. About We just had our grand opening uh, lot this Saturday that just passed. Oh, that's still wow. a big yeah. event. Congrats, but yeah. yeah, we were steady growing. You just got to stay consistent. Amazing. That's How did it... I, I mean, when you opened your doors... How did your membership, what happened? Was it automatically just, all right, we're full? Or is it, has it no, been no. steady? How, how, how does it, that happen? It's steady. I want to say, like I said, you got to be consistent. And like I said, I always write down and my goals in my book for uh -huh. the week, you know, and hey, what do I got to do? I got to think of some more ideas. How, how am I going to get us more exposure and more people know that we're here? Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's yeah. what we've been working on. So it is steady, though. We've been getting a few, new, uh, maybe like one trainer a week, two mm -hmm. trainers a week. Uh, signing up uh yesterday i just got a uh doctor he's actually gonna sign up with us uh trt hormone replacement so that's that, also that's wow. pretty big very pretty cool. big yeah and it's just about like i said just exposure and letting people know who we are and yeah. our, our culture of the facility yeah and yeah. leveraging other companies through i mean what you're doing right now this is a really, really good way to get exposure about your existence yeah. is just partnering up with other companies that have yeah. been, been here a little bit longer. We've been here about eight years. Yeah, networking. Mm -hmm. oh, That's yeah. huge. Yeah. I learned that real quick, networking. You, you've you touched a little bit on journaling, setting goals. Uh, what role does that play in what you do, and, and how does that help you? Personally, it helps me a lot. Is I don't want to say holding myself accountable, but I know if I write it down, in my notepad and my notebook i physically written it down and i seen it and i feel like it's me making a deal with myself yes of mm. hey i gotta get this done yeah so like a micro and, commitment yeah so then when i do it you know uh there's like everyone has those things they don't want to do or oh, i don't I, <laughs> yeah. I feel uncomfortable this is something new like coming here i was like oh man how am i gonna get this done you know but you know i'm here <laughs> i'm uncomfortable i'm gonna do it and 
it's gonna be all right you know it's oh yeah something new you don't grow unless you're uncomfortable absolutely but the notebook thing helps out big time i always tell everybody that uh right off the bat uh whether it's weekly goals for yourself for business or just growth or learning new subjects mm -hmm. or and you're in the gym trying to keep track of i guess uh as in powerlifting your their percentages and watching your weight go up keeping track of it all it's an easy way to keep track you know totally uh, like for like i said for me though yeah it, it's like a way of holding myself accountable knowing like hey i wrote it down i committed to this let's get it done i love that and that's the biggest thing that's helped me dramatically it's just right yeah just writing down and following through yeah, i can say i can get an idea right now from looking on the phone or someone talking to me and be like oh yeah that's a great idea i'm gonna start doing it Mm -hmm. and then you get off start losing this off subject then you forget yeah so, yeah <laughs> you know what i mean was your background in powerlifting uh i i guess yeah, yeah. uh so i started lifting i want to say like almost like nine or ten years now nice yeah like nine and a half yeah years same here i started lifting and uh i started just lifting i didn't know anything i yeah. didn't know just total noob you know didn't know what i was doing uh who got you into it uh so originally I started like I was all about so my family eh, I guess it was more calisthenics push-ups pull-ups running just trying to be physically fit so mm -hmm. I guess if I had a if something went down I'm prepared you know I can handle myself oh yeah but uh yeah I started started just self t t uh self teaching myself reading books uh, asking questions and just started progressing you know but uh I have three friends so uh blaze tony and travis uh these are all guys i used to work with i mm -hmm. remember when they first started working where i work now uh these dudes were jacked these, these were at the phoenix self-made uh no or... uh just at where i worked at oh, okay. for my day job gotcha uh but yeah these dudes were jacked just huge yeah. ripped you know veiny vascular and <laughs> you know i was just, man i want to be like the, i want to look like those guys like they're all strong you know uh yeah tony has been doing powerlifting for a while uh travis has been doing bodybuilding blaze did bodybuilding and you know i just asked him like hey man you think i can come train with you one day like i'm just i want to learn you know i don't know anything about lifting weights or anything period yeah. and basically i started uh working out with blaze and he taught me a lot you know and as as years went on and just just learning man reading uh youtubing a lot yeah. mainly reading and I, I like asking people in person too like if I see new things, uh, yeah, a lot of bodybuilders. I, I've asked a lot of trainers about nutrition because like, like a lot of people don't know about nutrition, you know, unless you go to uh, take a, a class and learn about it or you go mm -hmm. to school for it. So I like picking people's brains. I'm all about learning. Yeah. And I would rather, not that I wouldn't want to learn from a book, but like I like learning from people's experiences because if you've been doing bodybuilding for your whole life, mm -hmm. you know, you've been doing it 35, 45 years, like you have way more wisdom than anyone that's went to school in yeah, my opinion yeah yeah you know, so hands-on experience yeah. so most of the time definitely yeah yeah how has nutrition education made its way into the education side for the trainers that do come to your facility is that something that you in some way include in that curriculum that you mentioned or is uh, that... yeah so uh i don't know i don't want to say yes or no i want to say yes so on the so we do have the self-made app it's mm -hmm. basically so Say you're training your clients and they can only train with you, I don't know, two days a week, right? Mm -hmm. You have your client download the app and on the app, it has everything. You can do uh, check-ins. They can write your workout program on there. I can do your nutrition plan on there as well. So say you only train with me one-on-one -on -one in person twice a week, all those other days, we can communicate through the app and, hey, I sent your workout for the day. I sent your meal plan plan for the day so you can still hold your clients accountable yeah and you know the clients like it too because oh you know i got this cool app even though i can't make it to self-made today and train with my trainer yeah my trainer has everything i need to do right here whether i'm doing it at home in the garage or whether i go to my own membership gym that i go to and i just train by myself yeah cool so, that is cool yeah we do we do have that it, it goes in depth too with the the meal plans and macros just, and all yeah, that kind of stuff yeah, in yeah. depth it just depends on your, your goal yeah. as a client. And that really gives you the autonomy. God forbid we have another pandemic or something like that comes yeah. along. Mm -hmm. You guys can really pivot and leverage what you've already set up with the online stuff. That's really cool. Yeah. 
that's a good transition. I did want to talk about that. I anytime we bring in any gym owners or anything like that, I and I understand, of course, you weren't actually running Gilbert because you yeah, just yeah. opened during the pandemic. So I guess I would shift this question from what did you do when the shutdowns came to oh what is that? Well, first, I mean, what were you doing when when COVID hit? Because I know everyone in this industry took a dive. What uh, happened? All the same thing I was doing now. You know, I uh, I was, I was one of the like um, I want to say. For my job, I was grateful enough that they laid a bunch of people off, like mm-hmm. let a bunch of people go, and I was one of the one of the the delivery. So I deliver furniture for a living. Okay, I was one of the delivery drivers they kept. Mm-hmm. So I literally worked through the whole pandemic. It was pretty crazy. That is crazy. Good driving the truck on the freeway, and it looks like I am legend. <laughs> you know, all the plants <laughs> taking over everything. I thought that was pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, I just worked, man. I uh, still did the the supplement thing. Kept pushing, kept pushing, kept mm-hmm. pushing. I kept working out every day, even if I I got a barbell on a few forty five pound plates. Just did my thing in the backyard, and then uh, yeah, there's a few tr- uh, so Scottsdale location mm-hmm. uh, with all, a bunch of the self mades. They did not have to close down because they were a private private facility. That was going to be my question with yeah, because so. I didn't I didn't realize self made was a truly private facility. What what impact, if any, do, I mean, let's say it happens again because they're private facilities. Do they have to shut down? Would your trainers still have a place to yes. come? I mean, yeah. yes, we would still, the trainers would still have a place to come just like Phoenix and Scott still, they stayed open. Yeah. Like, uh, there's always going to be new challenges, you know, and mm-hmm. depending on the challenge, you just got to learn about it. And what can I do to pivot, to learn more, to go around it and work around it? Mm-hmm. You know, I, we never look at anything like, oh man, this is happening. What are we going to do? We're going to lose it all. We always Right, get together, me, Damien, Anthony, and with Miguel, the CEO, sit down and, hey, we need to make a plan. Yep. We think this is going to come. What are what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. You know, we just go down the ideas and start learning new things. What do we got to do to stay open? So that's what they did last time with Scottsdale and Phoenix. They did stay open the whole time. And, you know, during the Christmas party, it was cool. They had a big Christmas party and all the trainers were completely happy. Like I've mm-hmm. seen a lot of them cry and thinking that hey you guys stayed open and i was able to run my business still so yeah. it didn't really affect it didn't self-made. really affect self-made at all you're definitely in the minority on that yeah in, in fact i think you're probably the only gym owner that i know that stayed open i mean we did because it's in my house but yeah. like other than us i didn't know of anybody else that was able to stay open through yeah. that whole thing so that's awesome though and it's good that you guys have some kind of an implementation for a plan to shift to to online to stay open obviously if you can stay open there'd be no need to shift to an online yeah, yeah. platform but it's good that you guys offer that for your trainers yeah yeah so where can people go to find you i mean let's say i am a trainer and i'm and i'm ready to go i'm sold on the whole process first off what is your what is your vetting process for a trainer what does a trainer need to have to start it self-made um i would say we welcome I, we always say elite personal trainers, you know, the best of the best. But, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we do have new trainers, too. Like like I said, we have all these programs. How many trainers do you have help, currently? Uh, right now, currently, we have 16, 18. Okay. Because uh, uh, we are going to sign up two more this week, I believe. And does everybody train according to their own? Like, if yes. I want to do semi-private or I want to do group, or yes. I wanna, everybody can just have total freedom to choose how to do that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can do uh, – I have a – I have two people that do online only and they mm-hmm. come in, they film their content at the gym and send their online content to their clients. Mm-hmm. They do that way. I have a bunch of, we do have uh, some trainers that do group training. Mm-hmm. We have trainers that do a lot of one-on-one. So yeah, uh, basically however you want to run your business, you make your schedule, you work your hours. And if you want to learn more and build more, that's what we're here for. Mm. So you can do they group training. You. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. How does marketing funnel down to the trainers in your roster? Because if there is not a, obviously most box gyms have both membership clients that are training with no one, then they have trainers, then they have clients with those trainers. And those trainers will get leads from the people that hang out at the gym. That isn't the case at your gym. No one's there unless they're with a trainer. How exactly is marketing done? Is it entirely left up to the trainer to find their own leads, turn them from cold and warm and hot and then get their own people or do you guys because obviously you have a big branding yeah. umbrella someone comes in and says hey i want to train well who do you want to train with well i don't know you tell me yeah. how exactly does that how does that work do i want to say yes or no uh it is like you are running your own business you run your business how you want but mm-hmm. we are here to help but also self-made is like i said it's well known nationally that we do have a lot of people that walk in and hey uh i seen you guys are new i just want to check out and 
give them a tour of the facility, ask them what their fitness goals are, what are they looking for, are they into personal training, and we basically find out their fitness needs are what their goal is mm -hmm. and set them up with the best match trainers that we have. Because we have trainers that that uh, sports athletes, uh, powerlifting, bodybuilding, mm -hmm. uh, weight loss. I have a, a boxing coach. Uh, we have MMA. We have jiu-jitsu. So whatever you want realistically and whatever your goal is we match you up and also through instagram too uh we have the self-made gilbert instagram page it, a lot of people contact us through that too as well okay. asking questions and sure. we we just set up hey come down to the i'm gonna be here from three to seven come down or mm -hmm. whenever you whatever works best for you i'll make sure i'll have someone there to show you the facility we just give a tour of the facility and you know tell them what we're all about and show them the culture let mm -hmm. them see the culture for themselves and match them up with what works best for their needs. Sure. Very cool. And, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I just had a random question. Um, who gets to pick the playlist? Who gets to pick the music? In the oh, show? yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of, you know, a lot of people ask that. So we switch it up. We we, we keep it mm -hmm. basically mixed between everything. That's you a know? great question. <laughs> we keep it mixed. Okay. Uh, we have, I don't want to say we play. So like, I'm a heavy metal dude. I love heavy mm -hmm. metal, but but Definitely. we don't really play heavy metal you know we'll play rock we play rap uh hip-hop uh it's so whatever we take turns you know yeah. with all the training like you said we're all family there so we all you know i i know you're playing this but it's cool if i switch it and we switch it we just keep it cool. switch so it's fresh yeah it's never the same thing just playing and playing and playing but yeah it's funny a lot of people ask that <laughs> <laughs> how big is your facility square feet? uh seventeen thousand square feet gotcha yeah. and in seventeen thousand square feet how many classes simultaneously run mm. so we got the i want to say like 10 like you don't have like 10 or 12 trainers there at one time and peak hours and consistently what's, doing their own thing what's the largest group all the way down to one-on-one -on -one? what's the largest group that runs so we like to do so uh we don't we don't have really trainers that do group training but when okay. we do we like to keep it minimum four to six mm -hmm. just so great number yeah just until we like we're like you said we're fairly new so we have our peak hours but even at the peak hour it's not necessarily a peak hour you know yeah. until we get like fully busy then we would know the peak hour but once we do get to that sure that point we would like to keep it at six just so there's enough for everybody yeah but the facility is huge mm -hmm. it is huge we have a whole outdoor area we have two outdoor areas and it's just huge. You guys got to come down and check it out. Seriously. Oh, love, to, love to. What is the, if I am a trainer and I come in and I want to have, like, let's say I've already got my six people and I'm ready to go. What exactly is the split from the gym to the trainer? How exactly does the pricing break down? Do you have a set pricing trainers must charge? Do you have a, yes. Like, okay. So t tell me about that. Yeah. So with the trainers, uh, it's all the same, all the way across the board. So it's 24 seven. Once you're ready to sign up, we give you your key. Uh, we are getting the key fob now, though. So uh, next week coming up, so we're gonna give you a key fob, and whenever you want to work, you want to come train your trainers. You got the key fob. Mm -hmm. uh, just all we ask is turn off the lights and music when you're done. But uh, we do have a um, a small investment. So I always tell them, you know, this is an investment for you investing in your business, which is an easy small thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Flat across the board, everybody pays the same. Okay. And don't get me wrong, like there are people. We are willing to work with people. There's a few trainers that, hey, you know what? Uh, I I want to step into working for myself, and I want to become an entrepreneur, but uh, I kind of need help, you know. So a lot of people hear that and they do. You know what? They are they do get scared about it. So we do work with people too. Mm. We we want to we want to help build and make them better and build their business and help them be confident. Hey, you know what? I can do this. I'm gonna be my own entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we do work with with people. Like say, uh, if you if you want to start training with us, but you're not a hundred percent sure, you know, I'll give you two months to where, hey, you know what, we'll work with you. Maybe the first month, well, or the first two months, I'll charge you just six hundred mm -hmm. for the for your investment. And so it's a thousand a month. Yes, a thousand a month to be a trainer, yes, self made training facility. Okay, and what is the what's the minimum I can charge my clients? Uh, that's up to you. It's entirely right. up yes. to the person. Yes. Okay. You run your own business. What is, I, if 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 you know, what is the most that a self-made trainer is currently training? If I'm a client and I'm thinking about pricing this out, coming to self-made, what's your most expensive trainer training at? You know, that's a hard question. Yeah. I, I don't know that because they all have their different rates. 
That's true because I guess from your from your yeah. standpoint, it doesn't matter if they. Yeah, they all have their yeah. different rates. I oh, gotcha. I do know that. I do know. Uh, I can't even say off the top of my head, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say they go anywhere from. I mean, even a range. If someone's thinking about training there, they, are they going to you know, pay one hundred and fifty a session? Are they going to pay? Nah, so you see a lot of them. I know a lot of them do, like hourly sessions. I would say, mm -hmm. minimum maybe sixty, mm -hmm. eighty dollars a session. You know, minimum. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's what from what I know from what most of them do. Sure. But yeah, like everyone has different rates. Gotcha. Yeah. And everyone has different ex expertise and the coaches yeah, yeah. are different. You said yeah. you have 18 coaches. Yeah. So there's definitely no shortage. So of we have 16, but we are signing up two this week. So that would put us at 18. Healthy hopefully. split of male and female. Yes. More male, more female. Any? Yes. Pretty much 50 Healthy 50. Split, yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. We, we have a little bit of everything. Awesome. It's crazy. Yeah, we have a lot to offer. Uh, one thing that uh, I do that we are trying to get, I'm still looking for a jiu jitsu coach. So that's yeah, one thing I hit do up Jimmy House, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I know he's got sure. his own thing. <laughs> By the way, thank you so much for the swag, man. This is oh, good yeah, stuff. Sure. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. I didn't even. Thanks read for it. having me. Oh, it, okay. So it's the Iron Guy. So this is not. This is the. Uh, yeah, that's for the uh, supplement. Uh, supplement uh, company. The other shirt is a self-made shirt. Love it. Love it, man. For our location, for the Gilbert location. Tell us a little bit about oh, this uh, pre-workout and this uh, alkaline water. Yeah. So the pre-workout. That's our newest, our newest one that we have right now. Uh, Love that. It's the newest one we have right now, but it's the original one that we came out with. So I don't know if you guys noticed. That's why we put the OG in the corner. I do the, see it. The OG formula right there. <laughs> that's that was our best seller. That's the one that everyone loved the most. Uh huh. We just came out with the kiwi strawberry brand and just put the OG and made the logo look a little better. But Very it is the original one. Uh, it's just I don't want to say high stem. It's more like uh. Like in the middle. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Nothing. And that means. Not going to make you crash. Yeah. You know, it's uh, pretty much natural ingredients, a lot of vitamins. So I put uh, black pepper extract in there to warm you up from the inside, get you a nice little sweat going on. Mm -hmm. uh, we have stuff in there to give you a pump. And, you got caffeine, yeah. I assume. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. How much? Uh, this one has 300. This one has 300. The other one. Hey, you're have... a coffee drinker. How much is that? How many cups of coffee? approximately? Oh, I've got nothing. I can Google it, though. <laughs> okay. I think one cup, one cup of coffee is 250. Is it something like that? So it's about a yeah. cup okay. and a half, something like that? A yeah. cup and a quarter? That's awesome. And that's yeah. your first one. How many different iterations have you done? Uh, so we have the Unchained. We have the Locked and Loaded. And then uh, the original. So we've done four different ones. Oh, cool. Yeah, the Unchained one is less caffeine it's only 200 mm -hmm. so that's more like low dose more like tastes really good this one tastes good the, the thing about what i like about our products including the the protein is my favorite mm -hmm. it all tastes good but the thing with protein you guys all know you get the shaker cup you pour it in there and it starts clumping up yeah with our protein literally you can get a spoon in and it, it dissolves perfect. that's awesome You're and right, it tastes it great i love it <laughs> uh bcas what kind of are, what kind of protein do you whey yeah just regular whey protein gotcha uh, our bcas are on point with the flavor you got the lemonade it tastes just like lemonade mm -hmm. uh one i do want to make a new one because i love sweet tea i do want to make a sweet Ooh. tea flavor yeah so uh but yeah yeah That's you ever you, you ever bear, uh, branch into uh animal based at all for the protein source it, all the kick right now is the organ based protein yeah 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 no yeah. no no not yet not yet uh, right now we're sticking just to the pre-workout BCAs and regular weight. Oh, okay. So you're not really, yeah. okay. Got yeah. You. Cause we, we expanded with the full line. Mm -hmm. Like I said, like, man, we've been living and learning basically. You know, mm -hmm. I started the full line, started to realize, Hey, you know, we're not selling this much. So let's downsize to go back to our roots. What we started with. And sure. It's paying off. And the alkaline water. Now I understand there's an, in, there's some kind of an indication on pH levels when you drink this. What, what is the. In your experience, what what is the impact of alkaline filtration? So alkaline water, uh, like you said, pH level way higher, tastes better, it's smoother. It's pretty crazy if you get something and mix it in it, mm -hmm. it literally like dissolves like perfectly because the pH is level. Yeah, uh, I do know it helps uh, with good. being like cleansing your body a lot. Uh, one thing that I did learn about the alkaline water is that you have to. I didn't know this right off the bat, by the way, too, because I before we had the self-made water, I mm -hmm. uh, started drinking the alkaline water. And uh, from what I understand is that you have to build your build yourself up to it to 
to drink alkaline yeah, water. Yeah, because uh, I don't like. Maybe you'll notice. I don't know if you drink alkaline water. I have never Not noticed a lot, it no. until somebody pointed it out to me. But like, you will drink the alkaline water, and then it'll make your like mouth dry, and like it basically like detoxes you. It's crazy. Interesting. Yeah, it's no, pretty crazy. I've never heard that. No, I've never heard. Yeah, that I never. Either. I never heard of it until most recently. Someone told me, and I'm like, you know what? Like, I just realized that like I pounded two, three of these, and then yeah, I feel like my mouth is dry. But Weird. yeah, like I guess you have to build your way up to it. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but that's what I just heard. And I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, man, that makes sense. What was that filtration thing you sent me that one time? The Kangen water? Or the, that's right. Yeah, you can thing. just uh, you hook it directly into like your RO. Have you seen that thing? And uh, the, you ca- the Kangen water? Uh, no. Water. You know how you spell it? No, I don't remember. I had a whole. Um, so they have distributors um, that sell this. Like K A N G E N. I think that's how it's spelled. Kangen water filter. It may pop up if it. Yeah, Kangen water. You know, you misspelled. Yeah, K A N G E N. Is that it? Kangen water. Kangen water machine. filter. They've got this. Um, it's a machine that basically taps into your existing water supply that will change whatever water you put into it into alkalized pH balanced water. Oh, okay. It's like. 10 grand but it yeah, yeah we were all on board until we saw the price tag or five grand yeah <laughs> ridiculous yeah but they okay. uh yeah they they they're, they're hugely popular tom brady a lot of the big name athletes they all use them but it's uh they've they've the big selling point was the guy the distributor did a video where he was basically showing the ph balance of all the other ph water bottles yeah. and then the, their water and it like what's the other one? The what's the big name Kangen water brand out there right now? Is it? It's not essential. The uh, um. Oh, the one with the plus. Yes. Logo. Yeah, the one with I'm the red cross on called. it. Yeah, I can't remember the he, name. He of that. was literally drinking it when he was in here. Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. didn't even matter. He lined them all up, all the commercial grade. Then he did the Kangen water, and he put the um, put some kind of an acid or muretic something in each one, and then mm-hmm. he put it in there, and it literally just dissolved in theirs. So I mean. That is, there is something to this. I'm not 100% sure on the science, but I know it has to do with pH balance. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a higher pH level for sure. Yeah. And I think that's why, like I said, like how you have to like build up your body to it. Just because you're not used to it, you're used to the regular water. Yeah. You know? No, it does hydrate you a lot, though. I, I usually grab one of those. Um, man, I am just the name of that Red Cross one because I, I literally <laughs> drink it once a week. It's right at the gas station by Camelback Mountain. I drink one after I hike every time. Uh, we'll, it, we'll it, find it. it's supposed to i mean it so the the overall th- it, it polarizes your cells right so like mm-hmm. it, it yeah yeah so that's yeah. the big thing behind it which is you know it keeps your 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 um i i believe like things from clumping and, and so if, if you have polarized mm-hmm. cells it keeps like your your blood vessels from clumping together gotcha. and it does yeah. all kinds of stuff like that that's really supposedly beneficial so that's it there it right is. there essentia essentia well, wow, I was way off. What did I say? I guess I wasn't way off. I said essential. Essentia water. Yeah. So that Kangen water apparently knocks that one right out of the park. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This but, stuff is good, though. Yeah, yeah it's, really it's really good, good. man. Thanks it's for really bringing good. it. It's for really the very good low yeah, price of $4,000. 5000 oh, 5000 49 Yeah, it was 5000 Yeah, it's ridiculous. <sighs> Rudy, where can people go to find you? If they want to come and check out Self Made, if they want to find you or contact you personally, where would they go to do that? I'll say Instagram or the website. Okay. Uh, shoot us an email. Shoot us a DM. Yeah, uh, you, your I, Instagram handle is right there. Yep. Rudy underscore Oso underscore Hernandez. And then for the website, it's self-made training facility, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Dot com. Yep. Outstanding. Thanks for coming on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Been a pleasure. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. Thank you, guys. And we'll cut it there.